place. Well, that's because I got muddy feet. I want your shoes. They'll be too small. You are tracking up the governor's mansion and it is disgusting. Fine, and I'll walk on my hands. <laughs> this is some place you got here. I came here as a favor to Mrs. Tate. And the dogs tried to kill me, the gardener tried to drown me, the security <laughs> men searched me, and now I got a stormtrooper after my shoes. You must be Benson. Why must I be Benson? Well, the only other black the governor has an appointment with is tomorrow with the Reverend Jesse Jackson, and everyone knows what he looks like. Well, that wouldn't make me Benson. I'm Marcy Hill. Hello. Nice meeting you. Goodbye. Oh, Benson, you can't leave. Want a bit? Look, it's just for one week, just to help us get settled. Well, what am I supposed to do? Organize the place. Nobody knows what anyone's doing or spending on anything around here. What we've got to do is cut back, get this place running efficiently, eliminate waste. And get rid of Miss Krause. <laughs> we can't do that. She's been here for four administrations. She knows too much. They're afraid she'll write a book. <laughs> the governor will be done shortly. Well, I'll just take a walk around. Okay. Hey, Benson. I'm really glad you're here. <laughs> governor Gatling's office. Well, I ain't cleaning this. <laughs> no way am I gonna clean this. This is a career. <laughs> you know, actually, this place is crazier than the one I left. Oh, Lord. What am I doing here? I keep asking myself the same question. Well, who are you? Who are you? I asked you first. I'm the exiled Princess Wilhelmina von Luft of Amsterdam. Pleased to meet you. I'm Willie Mays. Who are you? Who are you? I'm Carl Molina, the major bareback rider with the Circus Vargas. How do you do? I'm Winston Churchill. Katie. Benson. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Is this what our relationship is going to be like? <laughs> I hope not. It's exhausting. <laughs> I live here. Oh, you must be the governor's daughter. Yes, but I'm trying to get out of it. <laughs> what happened? He won't let you stay up late, or did he increase your property taxes? This is serious. OK. The man is a murderer. Are you a Republican? <laughs> Do you know what he's doing? He's in there killing beavers. I beg your pardon? Beavers, you know beavers? Oh, you mean the animals that need an orthodontist. Vincent, I think the governor's meeting is breaking up. Hi, Katie. Hi. Katie? I'm sorry, I don't speak to killers. <laughs> oh, wonderful. I need this today, a killer. Look, Katie. You work from you're an accessory. Honey, he's relocating them. It has to be done. Some of them are gonna die. Katie, try and understand. And who knows? Today, beavers, tomorrow, secretaries. <laughs> That's some little girl. I bet the dogs don't mess with her. <laughs> Governor, you can't worry about those animals. Such adorable fellows, building their little dams. They're rats. They're large rats who are flooding the roads. They don't know they're doing that. Governor, please. We can't expect industry to build a billion-dollar complex if nobody can get to it. They spend a lot of money. People are excited about it. The state needs the jobs and revenue, and you could use the contributions. But we're killing beavers. We're not killing beavers. We're just relocating them to Oregon. They'll like it there. The trees are terrific. Why 
can't they stay here in a, in a preserve? You know the state doesn't have the money to build a preserve. Wish I was handy with tools. <laughs> Governor, you'll have no choice. If we move these beavers to Oregon in the process, some of them will die. And then Oregon will probably move them someplace else, and some more will die. Pretty soon we'll have no more beavers. But, Governor... We're losing everything. Fish, trees, animals, Radio City Music Hall. But, Governor, you can't save the world. You're the governor, not Jacques Cousteau. Our state will have no beavers. Beavers don't vote. They're so cute. <laughs> governor... Okay. Okay. Okay, we'll evict the beavers. Good. Marcy, ask the chauffeur to bring the governor's car around. Why couldn't I be governor of Idaho? Kill a few potatoes, who'd care? Excuse me, governor. I'd like to introduce... Introduce? Oh, this man needs no introduction. I'd know the Reverend Jesse Jackson <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> Welcome, Reverend Jackson. <laughs> Governor. Oh, oh it's not, not this industrial complex that we've been talking about. This will create thousands of jobs for your people. I, I don't know how black people feel about beavers, but I do know how they feel about jobs. Governor, please, for God's sake. No, you mean it. You mean it. He's anxious to meet you, too. Governor, this is Benson. Benson? Benson. Reverend Benson Jackson? <laughs> Are you sure he's the governor? Yes, I'm the governor. This is Benson from your cousin Jessica's family. You mean we're related? <laughs> Aren't you glad I didn't show up before the election? Don't you remember, Governor? You asked Jessica if Benson could come and help out for a week while you got settled. Oh, of course. I'm sorry. I forgot for us. You're Benson. Yeah, he's here to help me. I think he's beyond that. You see, Benson, it has been a little difficult moving in here. Now, of course, if my wife was alive, it'd be a little easier, but she's dead, poor thing. I'm sorry. She's killed by some horses. Trampled? No, eaten. <laughs> Your wife was eating my horses. Right? We were going to the uh, country club costume party, and she was the sugar plum fairy. We made her costumes out of sugar cubes. They ate them. Do you call me a cab? Uh, Governor, we better go. We do at the cabin. Oh, yes. Benson, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> uh, when can I talk to the governor about my job? Benson, part of your job is not to bother the governor. Well, then maybe you could tell me. And another part of your job is not to bother me. Some job. Hello? Hello? Miss Krause? Hello? Miss Krauss. Miss Krauss. Yes? I'd like to see you in the kitchen, please. God, she's quick. Yeah. Uh, Miss Krauss, I've been going over the food budget. What you spend for a week on food here could feed a small nation for a year. Now, there have got to be some changes, Miss Krauss. Do you have any suggestions? Yes. Unfortunately, they're all obscene. Perhaps you resent working under me, Miss Krauss. Under you? I will never work under you. I will work around you or through you. Your choice. Well, I think we can work something out. Uh, well, now, I noticed that last night you didn't save the leftovers. Leftovers? This is a governor's mansion. We do not drink out of jelly jars, and we do not save leftovers. There will be no leftovers in this house. Never, ever, you tasteless fool. <laughs> if I ever see a bit of food wrapped in that stupid plastic wrap, I will kill you. <laughs> Uh, 
How about tinfoil? <laughs> Never leftovers. Not ever. <laughs> It was just a thought. It was a stupid thought. Oh, Benson, have... Oh, good afternoon, Miss Krause. No leftovers! Uh, Benson, have you seen Katie? Not since lunch. Uh, Governor, would you like some coffee? Yeah. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about the house. I don't know what to do about Katie. She's so concerned about the beavers. How do you make a child understand? How do you make the beavers understand? <laughs> Well, that's true. That's even harder. <laughs> Governor, about the house, you know, there's a lot of waste that goes on here. For example, did you know that there are two third-floor maids? The governor's mansion has to be immaculate, Benson. But there is no third floor. <laughs> Governor, if the state is run the way this house is run, the beavers are lucky to be leaving. <laughs> You think I'm a terrible governor, don't you, Benson? Well, I can't say, sir. I haven't seen you govern. You think I'm an idiot? <laughs> that I've seen. <laughs> You're probably right. I probably am an idiot. God knows I feel like one most of the time. See, I'm not really cut out for this, Benson. No. Oh, I was very happy running my paper mill. They came to me and said I had to run for governor. I owed it to the people. Well, it's true that the people haven't had an honest governor in years. So they came to me and they said that it was my duty to run. Well, I never thought I'd win. I never won anything in my life. <laughs> so I ran. And I won. <laughs> so now I'm the governor. And the people have somebody honest in the capital. I might not be much else, but I am honest. And I've done my duty and everybody's happy. But me, because some of the time, I don't understand what's going on. And most of the time, I feel like an idiot. And all the time, I'm scared. Well, I better go look for Katie. Oh boy, by the time I find her in this place, she could be old enough to vote. <laughs> to the airport. Where are you going? I'm going to Oregon with the beavers. I don't think I can fit all of you in the car. Please, Benson. I want to help them. Katie, sit down a minute. Sweetheart, your father's got a very difficult job. Every time he helps some people, other people get mad. He can't win. I know, the nature of politics. <laughs> but killing's never right. That's true. Unless, of course, it's a German housekeeper. I hear you! Why don't they fire her? She's the only one who can handle the dogs. <laughs> Will you help me, Benson? If you promise to go upstairs and unpack, Okay. I'll do what I can. Thank you, Benson. Okay, sweetheart. What is this? Beats me. It's leftovers, Benson. Well, uh, they're not for us. They're for the dogs. You like the dogs? Like, I love the dog. You love the dog? Are you kidding? I'm crazy about them. Oh, how nice. I go get them. Good. Any coffee, Benson? Oh. Hey, listen. I got to see the governor. 
I've been up all night researching this beaver situation. The governor's a busy man. Where's the coffee? Oh, well, I gotta see him. Where is he? Where's the coffee? In the pot. Where's the governor? Same place. <laughs> Look, I've gotta talk to him. Now, Benson, that's very sweet, but the governor is surrounded by experts with ideas. Now, surely you don't think he wants to hear yours, do you? Forget it. Stick to ideas on, uh, making tuna fish exciting. <laughs> 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 Morning, Benson. Oh, hey, Marcy. Your engineer friend, the one you had lunch with. And dinner. And breakfast. I want to see him. Me too. Call him. Tell him to get over here. Oh, excuse me. First of all, the man needs some sleep. <laughs> Second of all, I want him to call me first. We can't wait for that. We aren't dating him, Benson. I am. Just call him. I need to find out about bridge building. It's important. I'm gonna blow it. This wonderful guy comes into my life, adores me, and look what I'm doing. I'm gonna wake him up. He's gonna be angry. He's gonna think of... Uh, hi. Tony? It's Marcy. Marcy Hill. <laughs> Last night, remember? <laughs> I'm a tall girl, brunette. And so, ladies and gentlemen of the press, on behalf of my company, Nettleson Industries, and despite the protestations which continue even as we are about to sign this agreement, we are ready to break ground on what will become the state's largest industrial complex. Now, progress will I'm be... I'm sorry I'm late. I'm dreadfully sorry. <laughs> Governor, ladies and gentlemen, I beg your forgiveness. Thank you for stalling. I'll take that. What's going on here? <laughs> the governor's plan is checked out just as he projected. It has? What? What plan? I didn't know I had a plan. Uh, would you excuse us, please? Benson, the press is here. If you embarrass the governor, they will destroy him, and then I will destroy you. <laughs> John, take your hands off me, or I'll tell them you and I are going steady. <laughs> Thank you, you saved my reputation. <laughs> Benson, get out of here. What, John? Oh, no, I couldn't possibly. It's the governor's plan. No, I can't present it. Well, all right, all right, if you insist. As you know, beavers build dams which flood the roads, and with flooded roads, we can't build factories. On the other hand, if we get rid of the beavers, we violate a law of nature, not to mention breaking our children's hearts. So, in light of this, the governor has come up with the following plan. I hope it's a good one. <laughs> Mr. Nettleson of Nettleson Industries will build a bridge over the highway the beavers flood. What are you talking about, you idiot? I knew you'd like it. <laughs> now, as you can see, Mr. Nettleson is not thrilled about building a bridge. The poor man is as white as a sheet. <laughs> He's thinking, I can't afford to build a bridge, but he can afford it. All the money he puts into public relations, he can use to build the bridge. Because you see, the bridge will be completely paid for in the following manner. On the bridge, there will be an observation deck, and each car will be charged a nickel for its use. In return, they will get a Beaver Buddy bumper sticker. <laughs> At five cents a car, the bridge will be completely paid for in two years, and Mr. Nettleson will have all his money back, plus the best public relations he's ever had for free. Once the bridge is paid for, the additional revenue can go toward a dental plan for the beavers, huh? <laughs> Surplus funds can go into a conservation plan for the state. So you see, the state gets to develop industry, the children get to keep their furry little friends, and Nettleson Industries becomes known as the company that gave a damn about beavers. <laughs> Once they find out about it, the raccoons will be jealous, but what can you do? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the father of this plan, the governor of your state, Governor Gatley. Here, John, stick it. Thank you. What 
is this? Lincoln discovered America? How can I concentrate? I'm too upset to concentrate. Well, you're concentrating pretty good on the cookies. And I'm depressed I eat. When you weigh 300 pounds, you're going to be even more depressed. Oh, Benjamin, I feel so awful. All week long, I've been calling my father a killer. And now you tell me he got up in front of everyone with this brilliant plan. I feel just awful. You should. Thanks. You work a lot with depressed people? <laughs> There's a way not to feel this way again. Don't do whatever it was that made you feel this way. Makes sense. So what are you doing? I'm still depressed. About what? You leaving. Well, I don't like leaving you either. Then don't. Benchin is the only adult I've ever met who talks to me like a person and not like a little girl. Well, that's because I don't think you're a little girl. I think you're 46. <laughs> Katie? Oh, Dad, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Can you ever forgive me, please? I'm so sorry. What did she break? <laughs> no, I went so mean to you. And you went and saved the beavers. I didn't save the beavers. Benson saved the beavers. No, he did. He's just modest. No, he did. It was his plan. Well, we both did. And I love you both. You have homework. I did it. It needs some fixing. <laughs> You finish it up, and then I'll come tuck you in. Good night, Benson. Good night, sweetheart. Thank you, Benson. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Benson. I've always been a late starter in things. I married late. I was 37 before I married my late wife. Uh, I had a child late. I was 40 when Katie was born. Boy, even my mother used to say I always did everything late. I crawled late. I walked late, talked late. When I was about three and a half, she asked me in utter exasperation if I ever intended to use the toilet. And I said, later. <laughs> but uh, see, now I'm the governor. I can't afford to be a late starter here for the people. I don't even know if I can handle it. But uh, if you'd stay with us, Benson, at least I'd know my home was OK. Would you stay with us, Benson? Well, I'll give it a try. We'll see what happens. Oh, uh, well, wonderful. <laughs> Oh. I owe you a lot, Benson. <laughs> the beavers owe me more. Benson is videotaped before a studio audience. 